done, I'm going to show you how to use Sugisarge template in Affinity Photos. I have already downloaded it from the file, opened it in Affinity, and this is what it will look like somewhat. I have done my own modification. So this is what it will look like. It will um, have the white. So I'm going to show you how to put your design in it and then move it to the mock-up. So I've already um, started. So to my right, I'm going to move this down to right under Facebook, face mask, not Facebook, face mask. I'm going to open up my one layer. It's going to be the background. It's going to be like this. This is my design. I have the blue because we all know the masks come white. So the blue is my background. The words are in white and they will be white because my item is white and that's how I get the white lettering. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to open up my Face mask, click on the little triangle, it's going to open. I'm going to drag it down, and there we go. It's in the shape. I'm going to make a little adjustment to the background for it to fit. And there we go. And now this is the shape of the hexagon. Make sure you put it under the layer. If it's not under the layer, it's going to stay like this. And then it's not going to get into the shape. You can also print it like this if your measurements are right and you have enough bleed. That will work too. I also do that. It's all what you want to do. So now it's back in. So this is the shape and my design. So then I'm going to go to File and I'm going to hit Export into a PNG. Save it. Then I'm going to open up my mock-up that I also downloaded, downloaded in Sophie Socks. So this is how the original mock-up will look. And then I'm going to bring in my design. It's not going to look like that. It's going to come in just like that. It's going to come in small because of the pixels. And then you're going to stretch it for it to fit. And then you can put your watermark over it. And you're going to save this as an export PNG, PNG, and save it and post it. But before we do that, I got it all pretty much in the shape. So we're going to take, go to my layers, and we're going to take it down to where it says add my design. Let's see. Oh, maybe this one might not work because it has the blue background. So let's do that one. We'll take it to this one. There we go. It's in the wrong one. Take it to the mouse at my design. So now it's in there. So let's see. So you can color the straps if you want. If that's how you're going to print yours, show them how it's really going to look. Your straps are. Print it a little bit. If you don't want to, then bring it in. It's up to you how you're going to um, print it and press it. So remember, your mask is white. And you're going to add the color. 
So let's say you want to show a white mask, and you're just going to add a logo. There's your logo. And then that's how it will look without a background. So you can add a logo, or you can add a background. It's all up to you how you want to do it. So people ask, how do you get the background? So let's go back to the template. To your left, I have shapes. I get a square, just like that. I color it whatever color I want to. And then I add it to my mouse. So that's how I change the white to whatever color the front of the mask. So you can make it match. You can add some other things to it. You can text. You can do many things. It takes time, patience. So that's how you add the background to it. You put it in the layers under face mask. So just like this. It's not in there. It's like this. You bring it down, it's still not in there. It's behind it. You have to move it to the right a little bit. There you go. Now it's in. Now it's out. In, out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an expert. I've only been doing this a few months. YouTube is, is my friend. So we did the template and we have done the mock-up. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.